Hello everyone, hope your preparation is going well. So near about three weeks left for your NEET PG exam and I feel this is the perfect time for you to know the five often committed mistakes as an EPG aspirant in the last month of your preparation and also I'll be telling you the reasons why. So welcome you all to my channel. I'm Dr. Shomita Roy, pediatrician and today I will be highlighting on the five most important mistakes which you should definitely avoid and nobody else is going to tell you this so do watch the video till the end and also do subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet so let's not waste much more time and get into the topic so the first mistake mistake number one is frequently checking your mobile phone notification so students maybe you were checking your phone for something positive or productive but you won't be knowing that unknowingly you will land up in watching some unnecessary reels right so i feel uh, phone is an extremely time killing thing and time is very precious to us right now so you shouldn't do that i'm not asking you to switch your phone off but i'm just asking you to maintain a bit distance from your phone and also from the social media because that's not going to help you at this point of time right because last three weeks is extremely crucial for your preparation and you shouldn't get distracted anyway right even in my preparation i also used to have a very minimal access to the social media very purposely so the second mistake is making unnecessary calls to your friends so i told this in my previous video also students that nobody is your friend at this part of life because all of you are competing for the same seat right so we generally call our friends often when either we get exhausted or frustrated so i would rather ask you to take a break yourself no need to call your friends and ask them their status because nobody is going to tell you the real scenario okay because all of them will be trying to distract you that's what I feel now moving on to the third mistake and I feel this is the most common mistake all of us are doing and that is skipping sleep and meals so students if you feel that you will skip these things and you will channelize the entire time to your studies and that's going to give you a very good rank that's not going to happen in reality because you know students if you're not providing fuel to the engine the engine is not going to work right so if you are skipping everything and you are thinking that that will give you a good rank no again certainly not because you if you are like sleeping if you used to sleep seven to eight hours a day now you are doing that five to six hours a day that's good little bit of sleep deficiency won't harm much no big deal but if you're sleeping seven to eight hours and now you are sleeping one to two hour a day so that's not going to help you you won't be able to recollect things what you have read i maintain this very strictly both in my neat pg and also even in my md pediatrics exam i had a very good sleep and went to the hall and i could recollect things well so this is the thing which you should definitely maintain and you should also not skip meals because you know you need to have glucose at times right and now moving on to the fourth mistake that is practicing or appearing for lot of gts at this time no i may sound a bit weird but this is the reality you shouldn't do or you shouldn't appear for lot of gts now because why you know students i'm not asking you that do not solve mcqs definitely you should practice mcqs from your books mcq books okay but why i'm asking you not to appear for gts is because gts will give you a rank right and suppose if you are not getting a good rank at this time you might get demotivated and that might drag down your energy and this thing you cannot let it happen with you because no question of demotivation in the last month of your exam preparation this is very important that is the only reason i'm telling you not to appear for gts right now assuming that you have already done quite a good number in your entire preparatory phase right so now moving on to the fifth mistake and that is the last one that is 
listen only to yourself listen nobody other than yourself students yes i am here to give you some suggestions that might help you but best thing you are your own boss okay whatever you feel is good for you you only listen to your own heart and your own mind that's going to help you and i feel these things if you are following and if you are avoiding then this is going to give you a good rank students so stay tuned for the exam and wish you all the very best we'll be meeting you soon again thank you for watching the video